old days, melodies of flutes could be heard on summer evenings. They were love songs carried by the breeze into the teepee circle from the surrounding pine-covered ridges and grassy hills where young men played on love flutes to the girls they loved. Each girl at home under the watchful eyes of her parents knew the tunes of the boy who loved her. Even though convention did not allow them to be together alone after dark, they were joined in spirit with the music of the flutes. a shy young man who was given the very first love flute long ago by the birds and the animals. The young man was so shy that it was easier for him to face enemy warriors in battle than to speak to the girl he loved. Everyone knew he was brave. He always led in the dangerous buffalo hunt, and yet he could never find the courage to tell the beautiful girl that he loved her. He was very unhappy with himself. <coughs> Many other young men liked the girl. They stood outside her teepee all day long, waiting to wrap her in their blankets and to whisper to her. The young man stood shyly at a distance, looking at the ground. He was afraid to speak. He knew he could never tell her all that he wanted. Each day she looked more beautiful. He thought about her all the time. If he slept, he was still thinking about her.
He waited by the river where she fetched water. There were always other young men waiting. He wished he was like them. They whistled to her or threw pebbles into the water as she filled her water carrier. And they hoped to wrap her in their blankets as she passed. She smiled and went on her way. They seemed to laugh and speak so easily with her. She smiles at us. She likes us. They laughed among themselves. The young man felt they spoke the truth. He thought that she did not even notice him. The young man was sad. He did not care about anything any longer. Life without the beautiful girl was not worthwhile.
lay down to sleep at the edge of an aspen forest. The scent of yellow leaves was good. He was tired and sleepy. Who can say whether he was asleep or still awake? There was a rustle of leaves, a click of hooves, and a voice whispering, Friend, you tell him. And another answering, No friend, you tell him. Two tall elk men with branching antlers and painted black and yellow all over stood above him. We are going to help you, one of the elk men said. We give you this. It is a flute. Listen, he blew notes. very afraid of the elk men. Their eyes looked into him and saw all his thoughts. He had noticed that each of them carried a hoop which had a mirror at the center. <coughs> Suddenly they flashed the mirrors into his eyes and he was blinded. When he could see again, the elk men had gone, but two bull elks were running away into the tree. The next morning, the young man found the flute which the elk men had given him, lying on picked sage leaves. Everything around him felt new and wonderful as he set off for home again. He blew on the flute, and the cranes joined in happy song.
walked for four days, and all the while, he listened closely to the songs of the birds and the animals. Sometimes he flew into the flute, imitating their tunes, and weaving them together until he had made his own melodies. Every bird and animal loved the songs he played. shy young man who spoke to her with the music of his flute. He told her more beautifully than words could ever say, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Mm -hmm. 